All right, uh, welcome back to another video. So today I'm actually going to be, as you can see, I'm on Bazite, and I'm going to be doing a 30 day challenge using Bazite on all of my devices. Uh, so currently I have the desktop you see here, which has a 13th uh, gen Intel CPU. And then I have an, an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 graphics card, and I have 32 gigs of RAM. And on this particular drive, I have uh, one terabyte of storage. And so basically, this one is going to be my main PC that I'm going to be gaming on and uh, doing any type of streaming and everything. And I am I want to test on all of these devices the ease of use, how much troubleshooting I'll have to do um, to get things working for like everyday use. Um, so I'm going to be doing like my you know day job on here as well and kind of just getting the overall best case scenario what a SteamOS like operating system can do and if it's good enough for you know the average user to come on and and use it so i'm not going to i'm trying going to try not to use like the terminal for too many things or do any extra you know tinkering i'm going to try to use the discover store for just you know using flat packs and installing directly on here and very keep it very simple so that way i know if this is a good alternative for you know people coming over from windows and mac os wanting to get into linux and if this is a good option for them so I'm going to be using this daily on this uh, particular setup here. And I also have a Steam Deck, um, which is going to be running Bazite as well. And I also have a Asus ROG uh, Flow, the X or Z13 uh, variant. So that's like a tablet uh, variant, which I'll show here. And uh, so that one, I do have an eGPU um, that I'll be using with it. It's the 1X player GPU. So... I will have that, um, which is that that is using an AMD, um, I think it's a 7800 graphics card in there. So I'll have various different hardware um, configurations that I'll be using. So I'll be able to test all the different ones and report back to you guys, you know, all the differences and uh, any issues that I might have run into. Um, but yeah, for today's video, I'm just going to be setting up my desktop here and just kind of seeing any um, issues that I might have and kind of just do it, you know, with you guys real quick. So. The only thing I've done is just the initial welcome setup that it, you're you're prompted with as soon as you sign in. I went through there. It did give me the option to you know download a few extra things for some different software and stuff. And then also obviously I downloaded uh, OBS Studio as well. So yeah, so I'm gonna go straight into the Discover Store and maybe get some applications that I'll be using on a daily basis. Um, I do use uh, Telegram, so that one's right there on the homepage. There also I wanted to get Discord. Um, as well and I'll try to use the normal variant um, here and not you know the canary or vex top or anything like that um, try to get the you know simplest um, options here and not go overboard so I just downloaded a telegram and now it has an update so you know that was interesting so we'll update that real quick um, and then I will I also use Zen so I'm assuming Zen is available um, as a flat back, which it is. Um, and then, oh, my editing software I like to use is Lightworks. And I see that is not available. So yeah, so I clicked that link and it took me to search for it. Download and install on Linux. So they have a Debian version, they have an RPM version, and they have a they do have a Flatpak version. So I can just download the Flatpak version and then run this command uh, to do so. So it looks like I'm already going to have to use the terminal here. So I'll go to the downloads, and there's the Flatpak version. Go and download that. And then if we go into File Explorer, go to Downloads, there it is. I'll go ahead and open a terminal here under Downloads. And then from there, oh, I already closed it out, but I believe it was just Flatpak install. Copy that paste and then it's just asking for my password and then do I want to install it yes that's my password again 
and now it's installing. All right, installation complete. So I mean, that was that was easy enough to do, but I mean, for the average user, that would have been maybe a little bit more difficult to, you know, find and um, use. But they do have an option um, in the beginning to download um, DaVinci Resolve um, as well. So that is another option to use, which they just have a another script you have to use for the terminal um, to use that. But but yeah. So we have Lightworks installed now. So let me just go make sure. Yep. So I do have uh, Lightworks there. I also did enable the Sunshine option um, here. So I will be trying to you know stream games from my Steam Deck from my main um, PC here, um, which I do like to do for more you know demanding games that you know Steam Deck can't you know run at at higher you know resolutions and stuff. So I'll definitely try to do that. Let's see. I don't think anything else right now that I'll need. But there are a couple things I do want to change with my desktop here real quick. So I do want to go to the configuration for the panel here and set the position. I prefer it to be at the top instead of at the bottom there. So that works. And then let's just jump into the settings real quick. So we can go to uh, default applications. I want to make this the Zen browser. I did also reinstall the console. I just prefer that as my term terminal, but obviously we're trying to stay away from the, the terminal right now, but I will set that as my default uh, for now as well. And it already has a Dolphin browser and everything else looks, you know, pretty good. I might change the text editor, text editor later on down the road if I want to, but nope, all that looks good. And then I did already have, um, it automatically had Steam downloaded. I went ahead and downloaded uh, the finals and Marvel Rivals on here, which I will be testing and, you know, making sure um, those are running and working good. And then for my Proton, um, I have the GE Proton installed here, the, the latest version, which is, which is 9.23. And they did have the um, Proton um, up already installed. So I was able to download that, uh, you know, straight from here without any issues, downloaded it, and then it showed up in the list um, for compatibility um, on the Steam. So I will be testing those uh, our rivals in the finals um, specifically. I will try other games as well. Um, and I also want uh, to do a booster right on here, which I'll probably just do it the same way I did it on my Steam Deck, which is through the Microsoft Edge option. Um, so I'll go ahead and download Microsoft Edge. All right, so Microsoft Edge is installed. So I should be able to search for Edge and then open it up real quick. And basically, the reason behind this is, but since I'm on Bazite, um, I'm just going to do it the way I did it on my Steam Deck. Basically, I just went to Boosteroid, went ahead and logged in. All right, um, so now that I'm logged in, all I had to do was simply go over here, go to Apps, and then install Boosteroid. Um, cloud gaming, which this puts it in its own, you know, separate app and window. Um, so then I can close out uh, Microsoft there. And as you can see, it gives me that icon and everything for Boosteroid. And what I like to do is actually add it as a Steam game. Um, and by doing this, it gives you the option to, I can use the Steam input for my controllers that I use, because I do like to use gyro and certain things that I use, um, you know, Steam input for to enable certain controllers to have gyro um, working on certain games. So I just add it just like that. And then now I have booster right here. And then if I do attach a controller, like so, it will give me the option to, so as you can see, gamepad was detected as soon as I Enable or connected the controller, so we know that the gamepad is going to work. But I'm able to add my custom layout for um, Gyro and Boosteroid um, here. Um, so now I do have that enabled and good to go, so that way I can play games on Boosteroid uh, with uh, Gyro. And I'll probably change like the background and stuff to be more cohesive with the rest of the the games there um, later on, but. It is now installed and enabled so I can play like uh, Call of Duty, um, which is not typically, you know, able to be played on um, Linux desktops. And then if, you know, my, my son wants to play Fortnite or something, I, I have that capability of doing that as well. So that's why I have Boosteroid. 
And I do also use Booster Raid on my Steam Deck for more intensive games if I don't have, you know, direct access to stream from my, you know, gaming PC. I use that from there as well. Uh, so yeah, so everything I, I pretty much have installed. This is kind of day one, no really, you know, major issues. The, the installation process is pretty simple. Um, when I did go through the install, I did have a random, uh, not random, but like the string of failed <laughs> options um, go across my screen after it was installed. Uh, that to an average user would be kind of daunting, you know, thinking that they just, you know, ruined the whole computer. But when I did restart it, it booted up fine, booted straight into Bazite, everything was good. And I've not had that, you know, pop up again. So no huge worries there, but I, I guess that would be pretty frightening to a new user. it will be these, you know, if you do have anything pop up like that, just go ahead and restart your your PC and you should be good to go. But yeah, so I'm going to be doing a 30 day challenge. I'm going to be using this for, for everything, for streaming, for gaming, for um, doing my work. And I'm just going to update you guys, you know, along the way. Use some progress updates, any bugs I run to, any issues, um, any things I have to troubleshoot or do some workarounds to get things working. I'll kind of let you know how that goes and kind of be the guide for using this, you know, as a daily driver um, on all of my devices. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Please consider like and subscribing.